Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I really don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to help somebody print something that's too large for their bed of their printer. And they, they know how to index it and get it to print half. And I'll just show you the problem he's having. I'm going to take the Smart Fields, though, and I'm actually, for the one I'm doing the video for, I'm actually using that color. I, I deleted your logo just so it wouldn't infringe. I don't think it would, but a lot safer. So he needs to cut this in half. But here's what happens, and I'm gonna take a rectangle, and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna move this rectangle to the half of the ball. And I'm gonna color that rectangle in with yellow. Doesn't really matter what color, and then I'm gonna nudge it back. And I'm gonna put this on order back a page and I'm actually going to take out that outline and I'm actually going to take out that outline so now we've just got colors and I'm going to go right here to trim nothing happened I would think intersect would work but it didn't want to go there we go so now I've got half and I'm using my nudge. So now I've got half your drawing. So here's the problem. I think we're going to control D and make a duplicate of that drawing. And then I'm just going to flip it just to give us two halves. And if you look real close, there's a line. I don't know if you can see that in your monitor. And that's pretty significant. And evident now in laser engraving, that would probably burn through. But in a really nice printer, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's not. So this is what I'm suggesting on doing is I'm going to take a hairline with a two-point line. And Mike, you're, you said you had to go side by side, but I'm just doing it up or left to right. But then go right here. Let me move this over. Go right here and change the color of that hairline to that purple and then hit OK, and then hit P and put it in the center of the page. And you could go ahead and delete part of the line that we don't need. And that line is gone. I can still kind of see something, but let's move that line and see the difference. So I think that's going to fix the problem. Now, to do it the way you're going to do it, I'm going to nudge this over and nudge this over and make a duplicate of that line and nudge it over and then nudge this one over. And then I guess I'd go ahead and group this together. You actually said that you'd try nudging it, but this isn't really nudging because we're talking about a minute little line and to be 100% honest, I don't know if it's going to work. Because you could actually nudge it over, but then your drawing's going to be off. This way your drawing's not off, and now I do not see that line. Mike, I'd take one of those pieces you messed up and maybe print on the back smaller and do this little test here. Let me know. I'm not 100% sure this is the answer.